Hey, this is Jay Knows Credit back with another video. Uh, I want to talk to you guys today about uh, pre-approved credit. Uh, don't want you to apply for pre-approved credit. Now, I'm not. You might be thinking, you know, well, why not? You know, I got these letters. It says I'm pre-approved. Uh, why can't I go ahead and apply? Um, well, this is a very unorthodox conversation, but I just want to give you my insight on pre-approved letters. Now, uh, pre-approved credit offers are usually um, nowadays, they're pretty old school, um, something they used to do back in the day to kind of fight for your business um, in order for you to know who they were and things of that nature. Uh, there are a lot of, you know, online information that shows so much about different credit card companies and things of that nature to where um, these companies don't really have to compete really through letter form anymore um, because online they have everything. But the great thing about Applying for a credit card online compared to just going through the pre-approval, um, you know, is that there's a lot of information that they don't tell you. Uh, when they pre-approve you, a lot of times they don't always give you the best credit card that's, you know, for your situation, uh, the best rewards card. Um, they might even give you a 0% interest rate, but 99% of the cards that they send out now um, usually have a 0% intro rate for a lot of them, okay? Um, so that's not really a selling point anymore. Um, the industry standard of really cash back is about 1%. So if they say 1% cash back or $1 or one point for $1 for every dollar you spend, that's not really a um, something that's unheard of. It's like, okay, well, you know, I can get that anywhere. That's where I want your mind to be at because you can actually go online and find a lot of offers uh, for even more percentage cash back or miles or uh, 3% cash back instead of one. Um, and then also they might have different sign up bonus programs that they may not offer you uh, through that letter. Um, or it might be a different credit card that just gives you um, better benefits, uh, even, you know, sitting and being a part of the concierge service at a hotel or concierge at an airport or, you know, um, any other type of free services. But just want to make that clear that just getting those online offers are not the end all be all getting those um sorry getting those uh letter offers in the mail those letter offers are really just to get you to apply um having that pre approval doesn't really mean that you that you qualify it's just that you may qualify so a lot of times people will take the risk of not even getting approved by going through that pre approval um process all right, so um, online, there's a lot more information. There's a lot more or a lot better, um, I believe, credit card offers. Uh, and there are a lot of other banks out there that may not send you a letter in the mail. They're only based online. And if you're only going through the online, I'm sorry, only going through pre-approval letters to get credit, you're missing out on a lot of great opportunities out there. Um, also, with credit limits, they may not give you as much of a, a good credit limit if you're using that particular um, pre-approval letter. You know, that could really stop you instead of getting, you know, um, 10,000 or 20,000 or, you know, whatever amounts, they might only give you, you know, 1500 to $5,000 uh, by going through that pre-approval letter um, part. Now, some of them have some great introductory, you know, rates, like I said before, um, and there are some where you can actually apply for a card and get a higher introductory rate. But think about this, if you were to get ten thousand dollars compared to getting three thousand dollars and your interest rate was nine percent instead of being zero percent for the first year um you have more available credit um your actual increases will be better because when they increase you they're going to increase you based on what you were before so if they see you only had this much before they're usually going to increase you let's say for example you have a five hundred dollar limit they're going to increase you usually it's about 750 to a thousand, something like that. But if you've already got, you know, an eight thousand, ten thousand dollar limit, they're usually more generous on those increases. Okay, so, um, and then also think about on that note, think about when you actually getting an increase. Some some places will actually give you a, a credit increase just for giving you an increase. So it's very important to even ask companies: Do they run your credit? for credit increases. Uh, some companies will give you one for free, just one for free after three to months or five months, and some won't 
give you any for free. So you have to run your credit every time you want an increase. All right, so that's something to think about. Um, on the screen, um, you, uh, you're gonna see some information there. You're gonna see the opt in or opt out screen uh, information. I'm gonna put that in the video description as well. If you wanna opt in to credit card offers, you definitely can. If you wanna opt out, you definitely can if you're just getting way too many, okay? Uh, one of the good things about having the pre-approval letter is that it gives you kind of a gives you kind of a basis of where you are uh, with them in a way. Even though they're not running your credit, um, they are looking at some key factors from the credit bureaus to see if you qualify uh, without running your credit. So um, that is a good way to say if you did want a, a cart with that particular company, um, you can use it as a basis. To say okay, well they sent me a you know a Capital One Platinum card, but I want the Capital One Venture card. So I know they kind of pre-approved pre me for that. So let me go online, do some research and see, you know, how I can get this venture cards that are going through this, just this, just this platinum card, if that makes sense. All right. Um, <clears throat> also, uh, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, this is Jay Knows Credit. Tap the notifications button so you can get notifications on the new videos I have, whether I'm going uh, YouTube live or I'm just posting a new video so you can get that information as soon as it posts. Um, there is a whole lot of videos I have coming. Um, you've probably heard that from me from other videos as well. But there's so much coming uh, in this, you know, this particular month of January and February of 2018, just in case you're watching this a lot later. Um, so please subscribe to the channel. Like I said, a whole lot more things are coming. And I look forward to hearing from you all and hearing your great stories about your credit. God bless you and God bless your finances. Jay knows credit out.